WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny, hot, and humid Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of red out there. Maybe a little over, maybe a little hangover from yesterday's move to the upside. Dow down 354 points. S&P's off 29. NASDAQ 151. Russell's down 50. That's two and a quarter percent. Semi's down nearly 4%, 194 points there. Tranny's 177. Uh, you've got gold that's trading up 20 bucks with silver trading down 34 pennies. Like three crude is off 80 cents, natural gas up two cents. 30 year treasures up nearly two points, trading down at 122.23. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. The ES Mini had a, uh, well, it's got a couple different uh, uh, Gartley buy patterns uh, that were formed by these bullish reversal candles. Of course, what Price did yesterday was a stop right at where. Uh, you would find uh, the sell zone. And the sell zone is established by that daily profile, the top, which is where sellers reside at 5640, the center, which is where both buyers and sellers reside at 5594. They believe there's fair value in the bottom of that box is down at 5455. So not a surprise here to see a, a bit of a sell off, especially with the spot volatilities being above its 50 day exponential moving average. The spot at 1754. The 50-day is down at the uh, 1434 level. We've got a Gartley buy pattern that's been established inside the NQ. Now, the NQ had a bullish structured profile. Price was below it for more than two sessions. So we know that a counter trend move would end somewhere between the, um, the zone of 19.522 and 19.778. And so far, that's what it's done. If we look at the U.S. dollar index out here, hard to get a real good gauge on it. We'd have to really take a look at the euro, the yen, and the pound. But it is trading below profile support. It's trading into a swing point. So far, it's rejected that swing point from July 17th. Goldilocks making it to the low of the swing point from July 17th. And then it has given it up just a bit. But price is trading inside a bullish structured profile. And I would say as long as price remains about 2470, we should see it move to 2537. In the case of silver, Close above the top of its profile yesterday. A second close above 28.74 will generate a profile change in trend and suggest a rally up towards that descending trend line. In the case of light speed crude, it's got to buy the D point pattern with price running into resistance in its sell zone. That's between 78.53 and 79.78. Uh, you've got to buy the D point pattern with, that, with regard to natural gas consolidation with inside its profile. You see the small A to B equals CD pattern inside of the 30 year treasury. Past the initial price projection, perhaps it's going to go target the 123.25 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you have to start your today, have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking again soon. Take care.